Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video today on how to fix your Nano VNA version 2 plus 4 if you want to run 1 by 11 app software. As you can see on my screen, I have it working. I posted a couple of videos about this and I finally figured out what has to be done to make this work. Now if you want to run the stock software you don't need to do none of this I wanted to run this particular version I, I just like how it lays out that's just me but it's real simple to do all you got to do is you got to change your firmware version in the nano itself you have to flash new different firmware in here then you got to run uh, a different modified version of this software I'll post the links to all this in the description along with the link to the official um, Nano uh, VNA version 2 plus 4 website where you can download the newest version of the stock firmware if you choose to. Uh, but yeah, I'll, and I'll, like I said, I'll post the links, but you got to run. This, is a, this has been modified by Dislord, so you need to run that version. Now, I have to let you be aware of this there's I guess uh, uh, apparently there's two different versions of this particular model and what I mean by that is they they look the same on the outside um, the difference is the display module that's used now with this modified firmware there has been times where the display module may not be compatible with the modified firmware and your display will look like this kind of choppy looking uh, you know from what I have read and from my understanding I was lucky enough I didn't have that problem when I updated my uh, firmware to the modified firmware my display is just fine now, to be honest, if mine did have that problem, I wouldn't have cared because I'm using the app anyways. And if I needed to go back to use the Nano standalone, I would just reflash it with stock firmware. Now, of course, the stock firmware won't work with this modified app, but then I can just reflash it back and forth. It's, it's not, you know, really simple to do. It's not that hard. Um, so, but if your display looks like this, it's because it's not compatible with the modified firmware. You can still use the app. The app will work just fine. Um, but your display will look like this. Now, on some models, I bought my version, if it makes any difference, I bought my version from the official website's links that are on the official website. I'll post that link to the official website down below. That's where I bought my Nano from because I didn't want to take a chance of clones. Now, if your display is like that, that don't mean it's a clone. It just means that that manufacturer had to use a different display module for whatever reason. Maybe the other one wasn't available or maybe they ran out. But I'm just telling you the way that the, how I purchased mine, just so you know. So, um, like I said it's real easy to do if you got the stock firmware you just go into the menu now I'm running the modified so it's a little bit different but I believe the stock is going to be under config and I believe it's going to be under um, bootloader and then reset and enter okay and now as you can see it's it's in the it's in the boot mode, and as, can, and, and as you can see, the software detected it and is asking me if I want to update firmware. The firmware update works whether you're using the original 1, and 1 of 11 software or you're using this modified version. I've the, the firmware update function has worked fine. It's just the other functions in the software that did not work that I had a problem with as you saw in my videos 
So it will pop right up. You hit yes. I don't want to do that because I don't want to update. But that's how you do that. So that's how simple it is. Now, for whatever reason, if you cannot, you know, just for future reference, if you cannot get into the menu to enter the firmware update mode, then you can do it the other way. And that is underneath here, you turn the unit off and you hold in the closest button that's closest to the on off switch. You hold that down as you're turning the unit on. And then the display will be all white. It won't have writing on it. That also enters a update, firmware update mode, just so that you know if you ever need to do that in the future. Um, like I said, I'll post the links to, the, to all this in the, in the description below. Um, but uh, as for drivers, on this particular computer that I'm making the video, it's Windows 8.1. I believe the driver can go down as low as Windows 7. Anything below that will not work. Um, but I'll post it. Like I said, I'll post to the to the main official site, and you can get the drivers and um, the stock firmware. And I'll also post a link to this modified firmware and this modified app. So that's um, what I'll do. Now, how do you know if you need this? Well, if you want to run this particular modified app, like if you saw my other two videos, it wasn't refreshing. It wasn't updating down here. It would do it for, it do it sometimes. Sometimes it wouldn't do it at all. So that's how I knew something wasn't right. It wasn't right down here. So it's it's up, refreshing, updating, like like it's supposed to. That's how you know if you need different firmware if you want to run this one by eleven type of app but you're going to need the modified version like I said I'll post that link down below too otherwise if you just want to run the stock app that's on the official website you don't you just run the stock firmware and life is good um, so you don't need to do all this but I like this particular app better myself so um, another thing too I want to make mention of and at least on my computer, and, and maybe the newer computers are, are different. If you're going to run a hub, because you know how it is, you never have enough ports to plug in USB cables, um, I recommend getting a power hub. This is not a power hub. There's no external cord to plug into power with this one. This is just a regular USB hub. The problem is when you start running those hubs, and you start plugging in all kinds of stuff it takes obviously more power from the USB ports and it could cause a particular issue I've run into that on a couple of my laptops um, I had you know start I'll start to plug in too many things so if you have a problem with your nano and it's not doing the com port it's not finding the com port and you have a hub Unhook the hub and hook the cable up directly. See if that fixes your problem before you start worrying about you know drivers. Um, trust me, I've been down that road already. So that's what I recommend if you have any problems with um, it not detecting the right COM port on this on this app. So uh, then make sure that you calibrate. Obviously, you want to calibrate this when you get it all working you just go to calibrate and you follow the steps so that's what you do there that's a whole nother video but you can read more about that on your own um, other than that it's this is the way to fix it if you want to run this app if you have any questions or comments please post them down below and please subscribe and thank you